Hello students, let's do rational numbers exercise 2b. Page number 30 and we are with question 4. Arrange the given rational numbers in ascending order. That means from small to big. So we have these rational numbers here and the first thing we need to do is put them in the standard form. What does that mean? It means that the denominator should be positive. So here we have 10, it's already positive. Here we have minus 30, it should become 30. Here we have minus 15, it should become 15. So let's rewrite these rational numbers, making the denominators positive. So the first one, 7 by 10, will remain the same because the denominator is already positive. Second one, minus 11 by minus 30. Since both the numerator and the denominator have a minus sign, we can cancel both the signs. So now that becomes 11 by 30. Then the third one, 5 by minus 15, the denominator has a minus sign. We can take it off and give it to the numerator. So that becomes minus 5 by 15. The value does not change. So now we have these denominators, 10, 30 and 15. They're all positive, but they're all different. So we have to make them the same and that we can do by finding the LCM of these denominators. So let's find the LCM of 10, 30 and 15. So we have 10, 30 and 15. So we can begin with 5. 5 twos are 10, 5 sixes are 30 and 5 threes are 15. We can now use 2. So 2 ones are 2, 2 threes are 6 and we bring down 3 again. This time we can use 3. So let's use 3. So that's 1. 3 ones are 3. 3 ones are 3. So what is the LCM? 5 into 2 into 3. So 5 twos are 10. 10 threes are 30. So the LCM is 30. So 30 will be the new denominator for all these rational numbers. So let's give the denominator first. So they're all 30. All three rational numbers are 30. Now, 10 into 3 is 30. So we are going to multiply 7 also by 3. And 7 threes are 21. Look at the next one. 30 into 1 is 30. So we are going to multiply 11 by 1. 11 ones are 11. Now the third one, 15 into 2 is 30. So multiply this by 2. Minus 5 into 2 is minus 10. So now we have three numerators here. 21, 11 and minus 10, which we can compare because the denominators are the same. So let me write down these numerators here. So I have 21, 11 and minus 10. So as you can see, there are two positive numbers and one negative number. The negative number is the smallest. And since we are asked to write in ascending order, we have to put the negative rational number first. That means we have to write minus 10 by 30 first. So let's write that. So that will be minus 10 by 30 will come first. So that means this is over here. Now look at the other two. We have 21 and 11 and 11 will come first. So 11 by 30. So this is smaller than this and this is smaller than 21 by 30. So we have found this. Now let's go back to the main question. 10 by th minus 10 by 30, that is this, is actually 5 by minus 15. So we're going to write that. So 5 by minus 15 is the smallest, followed by, again, go back to the question, 11 by 30 is actually minus 11 by minus 30. So let's write that. Minus 11 by minus 30. And this is smaller than the last one, 21 by 30. 21 by 30 is 7 by 10. So let's do that, 7 by 10. So we have arranged the rational numbers in ascending order and this is the ascending order. Question 2. So here also we're going to do that. We're going to first get the standard form of all three rational numbers. So let's do that. The first one, we have 4 by minus 9. We'll take away the minus sign from the denominator and put it in the numerator. So that becomes minus 4 by 9. Now you must remember the value does not change. So the next one is minus 5 by 12. And the last one, again, we have minus in the denominator. We're going to take it and put it on top. So that becomes minus 2 by 3. 
As you can see, the denominators are all different, 9, 12, and 3. So we must find the LCM of the denominators. So let's get that, 9, 12, and 3. Now all 3 are divisible by 3 itself. So 3 3s are 9, 3 4s are 12, 3 1s are 3. Then we continue with 3 again. 3 1s are 3, then we bring down 4 and 1. Then we can use 2. 1, 2 2s are 4, bring down 1 and again we can use 2. So that is 1, 2 1s are 2 and 1. So what is the LCM? So we have 2 3s, so that is 3 into 3 into, we have 2 2s, so 2 into 2. Now 3 3s are 9 into 2 2s are 4, so that is 36. So the LCM is 36, we are going to use that as a new numerator. So here it is going to be 36, the second one 36 and the third one also 36. So now let's look at the numerators and get the new numerators. 9 into 4 is 36. So we multiply minus 4 into 4. So sinus minus 4 4s are 16. Next one, 12 into what is 36? 12 3s are 36. So multiply this by 3. So sin is minus 5 3s are 15. The last one, 3 into 12. 12 3s are 36. So multiply this also by 12. So the sign is minus 12 twos are 24. Now let's see which is the smallest numerator. So we have minus 16, minus 15 and minus 24. These are the three numerators. Now look for the smallest. Now these are negative numbers remember. So as you keep moving to the left it gets smaller and smaller. So which is the one that is to the left here. Extreme left will be minus 24. So that is the smallest. So that is the, the rational number minus 24 by 36. Then we have minus 16 and minus 15. Minus 16 will be to the left of minus 15. So this is smaller than this. So let's write that minus 16 by 36. And the last one minus 15 by 36. So we have arranged in ascending order. This is smaller than the next one and this is smaller than the last one. Now let's get the final answer. Now tw minus 24 by 36 is actually 2 by minus 3. So let's write that. 2 by minus 3 is smaller than now minus 16. Minus 16 by 36 is here. 16 by 36 is here which is 4 by minus 9. So let's write that. 4 by minus 9. And this is smaller than the last one that is remaining, which is minus 5 by 12. Let's write that minus 5 by 12. So this is our answer. Question 5. Arrange the given rational numbers in descending order. So here we have 5 by 8, 13 by minus 16 and minus 7 by 12. So the first thing we're going to do is see that all the denominators are positive. So let's write down the question. So here we have 5 by 8. The second rational number has a minus sign in the denominator. We'll remove it and put it in the numerator. So what does that become? That becomes minus 13 by 16. And the last one is minus 7 by 12. We can write that as it is. Now all our denominators are positive, but they're all different. So we're going to make them the same by finding the LCM. So let's find the LCM of 8 16 and 12. And let's use 2. 2 4s are 8, 2 8s are 16, 2 6s are 12. We can continue with 2 again. 2, 2 2s are 4, 2 4s are 8, 2 3s are 6. Again with 2, 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4 and we bring down 3. Continue with 2, 1, 1 and 2. 3. Now bring 3 down. So now we're going to use 3, 1 and 3, 1 are 3. So what is our LCM here? LCM will be 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. There are 4 2's into 3. Now let's multiply all these. 2 2's are 4, 4 2's are 8, 8 2's are 16. 
Now, 16 threes are 48. So, we're going to use 48 as the common denominator for all these rational numbers. So, the first one will have the denominator 48, the second one 48, and the third one also will have the denominator 48. Now, 8, take the first rational number, 8, 6s are 48, so let's multiply 5 also by 6. So, what do we get here? 5 6s are 30. Going to the second rational number, 6 3s are 48, so multiply 13 also by 3. 13 3s are 39 and the minus sign, so that's minus 39. Now, the third rational number is 12. 12 into 4 is 48, so minus 7 into 4. That will be minus 7 fours are 28. So now we have these three rational numbers here. So now we can look at the denominators because the uh, denominators are the same now. Now we can check the numerators. So 30 is the only positive number. The other two numbers, the other two numerators are negative. So the positive numerator is the greatest. And since we are asked to write in descending order, we will write this first, which is 30 by 48. So let's write that 30 by 48 is the greatest. Now this is greater than. Now let's look at the other two numerators. Here we have minus 39 and here we have minus 28. Now on a number line. Now when you have a number line, what, uh, what is the order of the numbers? So we have minus 28 and then to the left we'll have minus 29 and this goes on and on and so minus 39 will come here. So, as we keep moving to the left, it keeps getting smaller and smaller. So, between minus 39 and minus 20, 28, which is the greater one, minus 28 is the greater one. So, that means we are talking about this rational number. So, let's write this down as the next one. So, that becomes minus 28 by 48 is greater than the other one, which is minus 39 by 48. 48. Now we need to go back to the final answer that is the main question. We are going to look at the question and then write our final answer. So 30 by 48 is the greatest which is this one 30 by 48 which is 5 by 8. So in the question we have 5 by 8 which is greater than now the next one is minus 28 by 48 which is here minus 28 by 48, which is minus 7 by 12. So the question says minus 7 by 12. So let's write that. So that will be minus 7 by 12. Now this is greater than the last one, which is minus 39 by 48, which is here. And that is the middle one, 13 by minus 16. So 13 by minus 16. So now we have a final answer. All the rational numbers are in descending order. 5 by 8 is greater than minus 7 by 12, which is greater than 13 by minus 16. We have three rational numbers. Our first step is to write them in the standard form. That means change all the denominators to the positive numbers. So now let's do that. So in the first one, we have minus 10. We're going to remove the minus sign there and put it for the numerator. So this becomes minus 3 by 10. Second one, minus 13 by 30. No change because the denominator is already positive. And the last one, we have minus 20. We're going to take it off from there, the negative sign, and put it for 8. So it becomes minus 8 by 20. So now, as you can see, all denominators are positive. But because they are different, we're going to find their LCM so that all denominators can be the same. So let's find the LCM of 10, 30 and 20. So we're going to use 5 which is a prime number. So 5 twos are 10, 5 sixes are 30, 5 fours are 20. Then we continue with 2 this time. 2 ones are 2, 2 threes are 6, 2 twos are 4. Continue again with 2. So it becomes 1, 3 and 2 ones are 2. Now we can use 3. So this will be 1, 1 and 1. Now to find the LCM. So LCM equals 5 into 2 into 2 into 3. So what do we get when we multiply? 5 twos are 10, 
10 twos are 20, 20 threes are 60. So the LCM here is 60, which is going to become the common denominator. So for the first rational number, our denominator is 60. Second one is also 60. And the third one is also 60. Now, look at the first one. 10 into 6 is 60, so minus 3 into 6. So what do we get? Minus 3 sixes are 18. The next one, 30 into 2 is 60, so we multiply this into 2. The sign is minus 13 twos are 26. Going on to the next one, 20 threes are 60, so multiply this by 3. So what do we get? Minus 8 threes are 24. So now all our denominators are the same. So let's look at the numerator. Now we have minus 18, minus 26 and minus 24. So remember we are arranging them in descending order. So we have to look for the greatest number here. Now negative numbers as they move to the left they become smaller and smaller. So remember your number line. Okay, in your number line we have minus 18 and then minus 19, minus 20, minus 21. It keeps moving to the left. So the number on the right is the greatest. So minus 18 by 60 will be the greatest number. So minus 18 by 60 will be the greatest among these. This is greater than. Now minus 26 and minus 24. Minus 24 is greater. So that is minus 24 by 60. And then we have minus 26 by 60. Now... So, minus 18 by 60 is this one, which is 3 by minus 10. So, let's write that down. 3 by minus 10 is greater than. Now, we have minus 24 by 60, which is here. Minus 24 by 60 is actually 8 by minus 20. So, let's write that. 8 by minus 20. And this is greater than the other one, which is left here. Minus 13 by 30. So let's write that minus 13 by 30. So this is our final answer. Question 6, fill in the blanks. And to understand this question better, I have just drawn a number line here for you to understand it better. So we have 0 in the middle and to the right of 0 we have positive numbers and to the left of 0 we have negative numbers. Now let's write, uh, answer the fill in the blanks questions. Question 1. 5 by 8 and 3 by 10 are on the dash side of 0. Now 5 by 8 is a positive number, so it will be on the side. Now 3 by 10 is also a positive number, so that will also be on the right side. So both 5 by 8 and 3 by 10 are on the same side of 0. And which is that side? That is the right side. So they are on the same side of 0. Question 2, minus 5 by 8 and 3 by 10 are on the dash side of 0. Now, minus 5 by 8 is a negative number, so it will be this side. And 3 by 10 is a positive number, so it will be on the other side. So, that means they are not on the same side, but they are on the opposite sides side of 0. Next one, minus 5 by 8 and minus 3 by 10 are on the dash side of 0. Now, this is a negative number. This is also a negative number. So, both of them are on the left side. So, they are on the same side of 0. Both are on the left side. So, that will be same side. They are on the same side of 0. Next one. 5 by 8 and minus 3 by 10 are on the dash sides of 0. So, 5 by 10 is a positive number which is on the right hand side. And minus 3 by 10 is a negative number, which is on the left-hand side. So, they both are not on the same side of 0, but they are on the opposite sides of 0. So, they are on the opposite sides of 0. We will stop with that for now, children. We will continue with the remaining questions in our next video. Thank you, children.